will come together to help you find your wealthy place in God. Our foundation scripture, Thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but Thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Psalms 6612. Now, let's go right into the service. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wealthy Place Church. We're glad that you're with us. I thank you for all of your emails and your praise reports and your testimonies. If you want to email us, you can do that at info at wealthyplacechurch.org. Info at wealthyplacechurch.org. We're glad that you're with us today right here. What a beautiful day here in South Florida. We're glad that you're with us. If you want to call us, you can call us at 800-854-5891, 800-854-5891. I've invited my master mentoring team to be a part of this live broadcast today. We're glad that you're with us today. I'm going to be talking about an extreme financial makeover. I asked the Lord, I said, are you sure that you want me to call it that title because there'll be many people that may not quite understand it. But I ask that you stay with me for just a few minutes. I want to prove something to you, and I believe that you'll receive it in Jesus' name. Father, bless this message today. Help those that want to hear and do better to hear today. I want you to open your Bibles to the book of Proverbs, chapter um, chapter 10, chapter 10, verse 22. Let's begin with this uh, verse of scripture here. A lot of people think that God does not want you rich. He thinks that uh, a lot of people think that you have to be poor to go to heaven. All of that is not true. If it was, he wouldn't write it in his book. And we know that according to the book of Numbers, that God is not a man that he should lie nor repent. Chapter 10 of the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter twenty, ch chapter 10, verse 22. The blessings of the Lord, it will make you rich. The blessings of the Lord will make you rich, and he will add no sorrow to it. It's the blessings of the Lord that will make you rich and add no sorrow to it. I believe that many Christians today need an extreme makeover in their finances. That's why that you're a part of the Wealthy Place Church. Uh, this is a wealthy church. We're not a poor church. Even this week, we had another great pastor. I respect all pastors. We represent pastors at Chitwood and Chitwood and ministers and churches. We have for uh, almost 90 years, I guess, a long time. And if what some of you are thinking, no, I'm not the original founder of Chitwood and Chitwood, but we have generation after generation that has continued the Chitwood and Chitwood firm to help churches and nonprofit organizations across America, all their financial records and, and compliance records and payroll. We do all of that. And we thank the Lord, first of all, for our ministry and for what God is doing for us to help churches and pastors so that they can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to ask you a question. Do you believe Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8? There's anybody that doesn't believe it. I'd like to read it to you today. It says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he is able, he said we could do greater things than he did. The only reason that we're not doing these things, it must be because we've placed limits on our life, and we don't really know who we are. I'd like to inform you today respectfully that you are not doing everything that you can do so that you can have everything that you need and even want. He says he will give you the desires of your heart. Now, I believe that, and I believe that you do too, but we have to make some changes. You need to realize something today, that when you're involved with the Wealthy Place Church, when you sow your seed into the Wealthy Place Church, I can promise you without any doubt, according to the word of God, that you will have a harvest by God. Michael Chitwood cannot give you a harvest, but God will give you a harvest of either 30, 60, or 100 fold. And in some cases, you may even receive a hundred, a thousand times uh, uh, what you have sown into the gospel. 
But you also need to realize something for you to be a part and to get on the platinum list so that you can attend and enroll into the Wealthy Place Master Class. Then you have to do something significant. You have to catch my attention. What you sow will catch God's attention. But I want to make sure that you understand that you also need the benefit of catching my attention so that we can put you on the platinum list so you can enroll in the master class so that we can take your education level to a new dimension. The world will always say no to you. The world will always tell you that you can't do this. They'll tell you that you're not good enough to do this. Many have been told that in the world that you will never be successful, that you need to keep working at a fast food restaurant or working for someone for $10 or $12 an hour for the rest of your life. But I'd like to read to you what the word of God says today. And by the way, thank the master mentoring team for being in here. Your support is much appreciated. In the book of Romans chapter 12, penned by the apostle Paul, uh, chapter 12, verse two, and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Now we know today that God's will for your life is for you to be successful. God's will for your life is to be wealthy. Why do you need money? Well, you need money so you can sow it into the kingdom so that the gospel of Jesus Christ can be preached around this world. Those that think that you don't need money to preach the gospel, then you're badly mistaken. It takes finances to be on the air. It takes finances to send out Bibles. It takes finances to send publication to support orphanages and things of that nature. The world will always say no to you, but God is saying yes to you today. He says, I'm standing at the door for you to gain knowledge and wisdom. And he said, if you lack knowledge, he said to ask for wisdom and to ask for knowledge. But you have to renew your mind to this thought process because God is like your thinking. He even said that. He even said in the book of Jeremiah, he said these words. He said in the book of Jeremiah, he said, in the book of Jeremiah, and I'm reading, if you have this, make a note of this, verse uh, 11 from a chapter 29, the 29th chapter of the book of Jeremiah, uh, verse number 11. For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, saith the Lord. Well, who said it? The Lord said it. God is thinking about you right now. The Lord is thinking about every part of your life right now. He wants every part of your life to be good. He wants you to be well. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be delivered. He wants you to have money in your bank account. And he says, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace. He doesn't want you to be in turmoil and have strife and confusion in your life and in your family. He says, I'm thinking thoughts of peace for your life, not of evil. He doesn't want evil to come near your home. He doesn't want evil to come near you. He wants you to have peace. And then he says, after all of that, the reason for this is to give you an expected end results of good. God wants good to come from your life, not bad. And so I want to talk to you today about this extreme makeover. How do you get an extreme makeover? It's important that you know that the world is never going to see things from the spiritual context. Let me read that to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural mind does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. The natural mind doesn't receive the things of the Spirit of God. For to the world they are foolishness, nor can he receive them or know them because they are not spiritually discerned. First, you must hear the Word of God. That's what you're doing now through Wealthy Place Church. And you'll hear practical teaching when you enroll. And when you get your name on the platinum list and you enroll in the Wealthy Place Master Class. See, we believe that there's two sides to this. We believe there's a spiritual side, which is most important. But there's also a practical side to this because Jesus taught practical teachings. He gave practical instructions. Go get some water, fill them up to the brim, running over, bring them to me. 
I'll make some wine for this event that we're having here. Jesus gave practical instructions. He wasn't given all spiritual instructions. He didn't tell them to go pray and fast for days when he was getting ready to turn the water into wine. In fact, the king and the governor said, that's the best wine that he's ever had. Glory to God. I feel the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Without the renewal of your mind and the hearing of the word, you cannot have faith. See, faith comes by hearing. And that's what you're doing right now. You're listening to Pastor Chitwood so I can bring you these thoughts of encouragement and bring you the word of God. There's three steps to the renewing of your mind, I believe. First, you must have a changed thinking attitude. You can't think the same old way. Even the Bible says that the traditions of men, and that's our biggest problem right there in the church. So you've been saved for 40 years. You've been, you've been going to church for 40 years. You've been paying your tithe and you've been, you've been giving offerings, but you still don't have any money. There's something wrong with that formula because we know that God's word is true. God's word does not lie. I don't know about you, but for me, I found that I can live better off of 90% that's blessed than a hundred percent that's cursed. That's why that I've been a tither since I've been 10 years of age when I made my first money. I graduated from high school with $87,000 in a bank account, driving a brand new paid for 442 Oldsmobile blue with white bucket seats. That was all because of God. I was faithful to God to start paying my tithe at age 10, taught by my father, my mentor. So today I want you to know that we have to renew our mind. We must think and have a change thinking attitude. We must do that. The Bible tells you if you want to renew your mind, you must first change from a negative attitude to that of a positive one, according to Matthew chapter 14, verse 26 through 28. And it's important that we know today that we have to do something that follows this because miracles of finance follow a renewed mind, according to Matthew 14, 29. Very important that we understand today that you're never going to change your lifestyle. You're never going to change your living. Your bank account is never going to go up. You're never going to have any more than you have right now because you're going to do the same thing over and over until you change. Now, what's going to happen is when you get the opportunity to sow today, I want to encourage you to sow a significant seed. Now, everybody sows differently. There's no amount that's going to be placed on it. One man said, well, how much should I sow? 500, 1,000? Sow what God tells you to sow. But there's two reasons why that you need to sow a seed into this ministry. And by the way, we're the only ministry in the world. I don't know if you heard that. I'll say it again for you my friends, my brothers, my sisters, our members of this great, great church is changing lives around the world. Nine and a half million people have access to view this today with you. I want to tell you that it's important for you to realize that these benefits are, uh, there's two benefits that come to you. And, And I just love this because God gave it to me. He says that when you sow your seed of significant amount, that God will give you a bountiful harvest. Now, you're either going to believe that or not believe it. Your harvest comes from God, not from Pastor Michael, not from Pastor Chitwood. It comes from God. But there's a second benefit. When you sow your significant seed, it automatically allows that to come to me, not the money, but the list. And I see how much you sowed, which allows me the opportunity of placing you on the platinum list. Now, when you get on the platinum list, you've just about got it made because that allows you the privilege of being one of the first to enroll in the wealthy place master class. What is that? That's the practical side that Jesus talked about. So 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 there's a spiritual side. Oh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. There's a spiritual side. And then there's a practical side. Now, catching my attention is not nearly as important as catching God's attention because God will give you a bountiful harvest. Oh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God will give you a bountiful harvest on the seed that you sow. He says, if you sow sparingly, that you will reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you will reap bountifully. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you need any more context or or, or, or any definition of that. It's pretty simple. But the second reason why that you want to sow a significant seed is so I can see it. 
and I will see it. And that will allow me to determine if I want you to be in the wealthy place master class and go on the platinum list. You say, why do you do that? You say, God is no respecter of persons. Well, to some degree, he may be because he gave one guy five, he gave one guy two, and he gave one guy one. Five and two did a great job with it. In fact, he commended them and he said, okay, you double it. You did a great job. But the guy that dug a hole and put it in his backyard, Jesus said to him that you are a wicked servant. Depart from me into outer darkness. Well, I ask you a question today. Where do you think outer darkness is? I can certainly tell you that it's not heaven because there is no darkness in heaven. It's all great light. So my point to you is this, is that you can have an extreme financial makeover, but you must learn to feed your faith and to starve your doubts. Take an opportunity to get a good seed in the ground and to make sure that you are doing something that you've never done before. Some of you need to sow a big seed to get on the platinum list and you can do that at wealthyplacechurch.org. If you want to call us, you can call us at 800-344-0076 and you can get that right into the good ground. Now, the second reason is because you need to read your mind. You must think in terms of miracles. God is a miracle working God. And there's two schools of thought there. And it's important that you understand that you have the school of thought of Philip, of Philip and of Andrew. And the story is the same about feeding the multitude, but God does miracles in your life. You have to determine if you're going to continue to be a member of the excuse club or the make it happen club. So it's important that you understand today that you never think your faith will only travel through a bed of roses. Your faith will be tested. Faith is not faith until it's tested. But also on the practical side, the reason why that many of you don't have the financial increase and don't even have a wealth portfolio. Many of you don't even have a retirement fund. Many of you don't have anything other than just barely getting by. And I don't think that that's God's will. It's not what God wants in your life. And I read that to you a moment ago to renew your mind. You must have a change thinking attitude and you must think in terms of miracles, but there's one more step. And number three is you must orient your mind to God's success. I read on one of our church programs that you, can have good success from Joshua chapter one, verse eight. But you need to saturate your mind with victory and wealth thoughts. That's the reason why that you need to get our wealth thought publication. It's important that you receive that. And if you haven't received it, you need to ask for it, but you need to saturate your mind with a victory of wealth consciousness and of wealth thoughts today. If you don't think you're a winner, guess what? No one else will think you're a winner. If you don't think you can be wealthy, no one else is going to think you'll ever be wealthy. Number two, saturate your mind with abundance consciousness. So with wealth thought consciousness and with abundant consciousness. Now it's important that you understand that there's, the Bible says in Amos chapter three, verse three, can two walk together unless they are agreed? Now, this is the reason why that God spoke to me and told me. I heard him. He said, Michael, I don't want anyone in the wealthy place master class that has a poverty mentality of thinking. I can't let a poverty mentality think it. I didn't say poor person. Don't take this out of context. I did not say poor person. I said a poverty mentality thinking person sitting right beside someone that believes that they can be wealthy or sitting beside a millionaire trying to get to the two millionaire status or the three millionaire status in this class. Now remember, there's going to be a live class in Fort Lauderdale right here with our great place where the sun is beautiful and shining, but there's also going to be streaming available. But for you to have access to that, you must first get on the platinum list. If you're not on the platinum list, then you have no chance of hope as far as the Wealthy Place Church or you have any hope as far as the Wealthy Place Pastor Class of changing your life. How can a broke person walk with a wealthy person? Can you tell me that? How can a broke person, a great broke person, maybe a Christian, but how can a broke person give you financial advice? If you see someone standing on the corner with a sign around his neck, we'll work for food, you don't roll your window down and ask for financial advice. You may roll your window down and put 20 bucks or a hundred bucks in his butt in, in his basket, but you're not going to ask him for financial advice because he is broke. How can two walk together unless they are agreed? And God spoke to me and said, Michael, I want you to have only agreed people in this seminar. 
So you need to become a part of the Wealthy Place Master Class. I'm getting ready to release that. You need to be on guard because it's capped at a certain number. You will not be allowed once we reach that number. Now, your biggest thing is you need to get on the platinum list first. And the platinum list will bring you two benefits. One, you'll get a great harvest from God. You'll get back what you sow into God's kingdom. But you'll also catch my attention. And it's going to be important for you to catch my attention to go on to the platinum list, which gives you the opportunity to go on to the wealthy place master class enrollment. So let me ask you a question. How can a positive person walk with a negative person? The worst thing in your life is to have negative people around you every day of your life. And I dare say this. Many negative people that's in your life are your family members, your aunts, your uncles. I even had a young girl in Shreveport, Louisiana, come up with tears in her eyes at age 21. It says all she heard from her father her entire life, that she would never amount to anything, that she was worthless, that she'd be lucky to even graduate from high school. And she had in her hand a 100-page book that she was trying to write as just a manuscript. I handed it to one of my associates, one of my mentoring team players, and I said, read this. They read it. We came back the next night. It was a three-day conference in Shreveport, Louisiana. She came back, and I said, honey, you've got a book here. I said, you've got something in you. We took, we corrected it. We made grammatical mistakes, We uh, corrections. We, we made changes. And today, she knows that she is worth something. She's valuable. See, how can two walk together unless they agree? They can't. That's the reason why that God spoke to me. He said, Michael, I don't want anybody in this class because this class is going to be absolutely extraordinary. Invoke the law of thinking and asking in your life. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. God wants you to ask big. God wants you to sow big. God wants you to get Michael's attention. So I can allow you to enroll in the Wealthy Place Master Class. And I want you in there so bad because I know if I can capture your attention that I can change your future. If I can just capture your attention with these classes, I can change your future. Remember, if I can change the way that you think, I can change the way that you live. God gives answers through your thought life. Proverbs 23, verse 7. It's important that you know today that there is a dimension that God wants you to walk into. If you've never been saved, you need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That's the first step to you obtaining wealth. The Bible says that the wealth of the world, the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just and the righteous. That's you. If you've never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, pray this prayer with me right now. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I come to you now. I come to you now, a sinner, a sinner. Father, I ask you now, Father, I ask you now to forgive me of all of my sins, to forgive me of all of my sins, to put them in the sea of forgetfulness, to put them in the sea of forgetfulness. Make me, cleanse me, save me now. Make me, cleanse me, save me now. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you for giving me new life, new birth. Thank you, Lord, that I'm now a part of the family. I'm part of the family of God. And I thank you for that. And the Father, I'll live for you. Father, I'll live for you. Father, I'll read your word. Father, I'll read your word. Father, I'll get in a good word-based church like Wealthy Place Church. I pray this. Thank you for saving me, Lord. Thank you for saving me today. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I sure would love to hear from you. I, I, I think that I think that God is pleased. In fact, the angels say when just one comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ, that they're rejoicing, that they're happy. And I thank God for you. Listen, I can't give you more faith. I can't give you a magic wand. But you can be begin speaking with authority. The Bible says that there's life and death in the power of your words. Today, I want you to have the opportunity to do something you've never done before. When you do, when you want something that you've never had, you have to do something that you've never done before.
That, that's what you need to do is something you've never done before. What does that mean, Pastor Chitwood? That means that I want you to sow the biggest seed that you've ever sowed. Prove God today. Test God today and see if God won't return to you a hundredfold harvest because you've stretched yourself. You've done something you've never done before. You've acted in faith. You've been obedient to the man of God. And the reason why that God wants to bless you is because he looks at your heart. See, God doesn't look at what you give necessarily, but he sure looks at what you keep. So I want to encourage you today to sow the biggest seed that you've ever sowed. Now, there's two reasons why you want to do that. One is because God will bless you. And you do give so that you can receive a harvest. Don't let anybody tell you that that's not true. You give because you want to have a blessing. You want to be blessed. You want a harvest. The second reason why that you are going to sow a large significant seed today is because you want to let Pastor Chitwood know that you're qualified to go on the platinum list, which gives you the privilege of enrolling in the Wealthy Place Master Class. I make you a promise right now. If you will enroll in the Master Class, the Wealthy Place Master Class, by getting on the platinum list, how do you do that? You sow the largest seed that you've ever sowed in your life. Prove God. Let Pastor Chitwood see it. And that will go on the platinum list, which allows you to go and enroll in the Wealthy Place Master Class. If you do that, I will give you a promise that if you'll do everything in the Wealthy Place Master Class that I'm going to instruct you to do over six sessions, I promise you that your life will change financially. Now, you're already born again. You're not going to get any more saved. There's no such thing as saved degree one, saved degree two, or saved degree three. Once you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now you are born again. And you're ready to move into the next level of what God has for you in his kingdom. And God wants you to be successful. Opportunities are coming your way. Don't let these opportunities pass you by. Now, once we close the Wealthy Place Master Class, we can't open it. You can email me at info at wealthyplacechurch.org, info at wealthyplacechurch.org, or you can call me at 800-854-5891. Call me, 800-854-5891. If I was you, I would make sure that you get on the platinum list immediately. Calling us won't put you on the platinum list. The only thing that will put you on the platinum list is for you to sow a significant seed and when the offering list is prepared, it comes straight to my desk and I will make the decision if you are qualified to go onto the platinum list, which then gives you the opportunity to enroll in the Wealthy Place Masterclass. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for being a part of the Wealthy Place Church. i tell you what, there's not a better place to have church than South Florida. It's a beautiful place here, beautiful day to day. And I want you to know that God is for you. In the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 31, God is clear. He says, if I be for you, then who can be against you? God is for you. And guess what? Pastor Chitwood is for you too. I want you to get your seed in now at wealthyplacechurch.org. Don't procrastinate because procrastination and fear are twins. They have the same DNA. Fear will cause you from giving, keep you from giving, and procrastination will make you delay. And we know that delayed obedience is not really obedience. I want you to sow a seed today into this ministry because God is going to give you a harvest. That comes from God. But I also want you to know that I'm going to see it, and I'm going to approve for you to get on the platinum list so that you're available to enroll in the Wealthy Place Masterclass. I'm excited about it. I hope that you are too. Well, God bless you. Father, I pray that you'll continue to bless these wonderful people that's connected to the wealthyplacechurch.org. I pray that you'll bless them as they come and bless them as they go. I pray that they'll always know that they're the head and not the tail. They're above and not beneath. And Father, we will give you the praise and the glory for everything that's going to be accomplished in this program throughout the world today in the name of Jesus. God bless you. And remember, if I can change the way that you think, I can change the way that you live. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you next time on this broadcast. And by the way, check our schedules of all of our services at thewealthyplacechurch.org. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. 
Go to wealthyplacechurch.org to give your tithe and sow your seed. 